In this lesson, we will learn to represent function in a variety of ways and make ourselves comfortable with terminology that is used in the description of functions. Let's get started with the question. General rule of finding temperature in Celsius scale from temperature in Fahrenheit scale is given as C equal to 5 by 9 multiplied by F minus 32. So here we can see the input variable is F. The temperature in Fahrenheit scale are being supplied. So that's input. Therefore, we can write input variable. Input variable is equal to F and the output variable output is equal to C. This is also the output variable is also known as dependent variable. Dependent dependent variable and the input variable is called independent variable. Independent independent variable. And if we want to write this dependent variable C as function of the independent variable F, we can write it this way. C of F is equal to whatever rule that is given. This is rule of transformation according to which the Fahrenheit temperatures are converted into Celsius temperature. This is equal to 5 over 9 into F minus 32. And now we are going to find out temperature in Celsius scale against given temperatures in Fahrenheit scale. So for 2 at F is equal to 32 C at 32 is equal to 5 over 9 into 32 minus 32 that is equal to 5 over 9 time 0 so this will be equal to 0 at F is equal to at F is equal to 40 1 degree Fahrenheit C at 41 would be equal to 5 over 9 time 41 minus 32 so this will be equal to 5 over 9 time 9 which is equal to 5 but this 5 is in Celsius scale so at F is equal to 50 degree C in 50 degree is equal to 5 over 9 time 50 minus 32 so that is equal to 18 so the 50 minus 32 is 18 so 5 over 9 time 18 is equal to 5 times 2 that is equal to 10 degrees Celsius so at 59 at 59 at F is equal to 59 what we have C at 59 is equal to 5 over 9 time 59 minus 32 so this is equal to 5 over 9 time 27 that is equal to 
5 times 3 and that will be equal to 15 degree 15 degree Celsius therefore the temperatures against 32 degree Fahrenheit the Celsius temperature is 0 and then at 41 it's 5 degree at 50 it's 10 at 59 it's 15 degree Celsius so next is the zero of function so third zero of function zero of function is a point for which the dependent variable I mean the uh, the Celsius temperature is zero degree zero of function is a point is a point on horizontal axis on horizontal horizontal axis axis at which dependent variable at which the C is equal to zero so for that purpose we can substitute C is equal to zero this will give us 5 over 9 into F minus 32 so this gives F minus 32 equal to 0 this means F is equal to 32 so the zero of function is so zero of function is equal to 32 32 and 0 this is always how we calculate 0 of a function we substitute the dependent variable equal to 0 and we find the value for the independent variable I mean the variable on the horizontal axis so this is it and now we are going to find out the next question which is table of values for table of values for table of values table of values what we have is for F and C we will write down the values of F which are 32 41 50 and 59 we can similarly continue to write the values of F but these are enough values for which we have calculated the value for C and here we got C equal to 0 here we got 5 degree Celsius here 10 degree Celsius and here 15 degree Celsius so if we were to write this relation uh, in a tabular form this would be all F and C pairs where F is equal to 32 41 50 59 where C is equal to 5 over 9 into F minus 32 and this table of values will be equal to this table of value will be equal to 32 32 0 and then 41 and 5 and 5 and next would be 50 and 10 and next would be 59 and 15 so this is table of values whether we write it in this form let's call this function G or whatever name we can give it so now we at the last as last part of the question what we are going to do is we are going to draw the graph and for drawing the graph here we have a graph paper and 
let's call this point as 32 so let's call this as 32 32 and then for each of the two values we are going to count 9 so this will be equal to 41 and then after two values it will be 50 and then after two values it will be 59 so here we can simply say that the value against 30 was so this if this we label as 5 then this would be 10 and this would be 15 so here for against 32 what was the value against so this was against 32 it was 0 for against 41 it was 5 so this will be a point here and against 50 it was 10 against 50 this would be 10 right here and against 59 it was 15 so this would be right here and you can see that the, all these points lie on a straight line so if we just join these points through a straight line this would be the line and this line will have equation c is equal to 5 over 9 into f minus 32.